Supreme Pizza Pasta Casserole. Let's get it. Hey, look, I'm not gonna over talk it. We're gonna go ahead and get right into these ingredients, right? Now look, that's at 80-20. You gotta have pepperoni, especially when you start talking about it's gonna be a pizza, right? Here we got, you know what? This is just my mix of my seasonings, you know, for my Italian seasoning right here. We got garlic powder, parm, mozzarella. We're gonna put a little kosher salt and a little black pepper. And guess what, folks? We're gonna put it in the casserole dish. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, so look, let's just talk about the pasta, right? I'm gonna be using penne, you know what I mean? Love this right here, this is gonna be, listen, I tell you, it's gonna make a hit. So we got penne pasta over here, look, we got crushed, you know, tomatoes, right? This is what you wanna have. Look, I didn't say nothing about the onion or the bell pepper, but guess what, folks? We making it supreme, right? Super easy. Now, I'm gonna say this, now would be a good time for you to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you wanna go ahead and get your, you know, your pasta going. So let's just start, because it's all about multitasking, right? So we'll go ahead, put this in some boiling water, and then we're gonna cook these to the instructions on the box. Which For this right here, it's gonna be 10 minutes, because we're gonna do it al dente. Now, now I'm getting ready to bring this, my pan up to heat. Once I get it up to heat, then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start, I'm using an Italian and a beef mix. I like it like that. I could have went all Italian or just doubled the beef. I like everything that I do a little bit on the meaty side. So let's just build up and let's go ahead and start browning these. Okay, so look, I'm just gonna move this over here a little bit before I break it up, right? And then I'm gonna add my ground beef. The reason I'm doing them both together, because I want everything from the Italians, like all of the spices and everything that they use, I want that to like marinate with it. So we're gonna start letting this to brown a little bit and then I'm gonna start breaking it all up. Okay, so look, we're gonna multitask, right? This is how when we say a meal take 30 minutes, you can't just like sit around and just wait. So while we got that cooking and still browning, I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut this down. Look, I just wanna put a few, you know, I guess, look, I, I would just call it like a, a few slivers or just like slices of onions on there. Then I'll break them up. It's up to you guys how you wanna do them. For me, I love onion, so I'll cut them like this. You guys cut them how you want to, I just don't do dice. Now remember, when you're cutting yours down, just like we did the onion, we just wanna go ahead and just put them on there all kind of, you know, I like the long slivers, you know? If I move this back, you can just see, look, we got to drain some of that fat, right? Now, the reason I didn't go ahead and season is because we don't want to like pour none of that out, right? So I'm looking at this right here, making sure everything is nice and brown, breaking it all up. Now I'll just turn the heat off. My noodles are ready. They already al dente. So let me go ahead and drain the fat and then we'll just move over to the next step. This is where it gets to become super, super fast right here. Let me just go ahead and let you guys know right now. You could, I don't know if you can tell, but I changed my, you know, my pan. Reason being, after I drained everything, and I know I'm about to bring my crushed, you know, tomatoes in, right? We gotta have enough room so everything can like simmer, cook, and marinate together, right? So look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, turn this on, and I'm gonna just start with a medium heat, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my crushed tomatoes. Now don't forget you guys, Really, I usually use, you know, one pound. You know, I found that I like to have mine on the meteor side. So I'm just showing you guys that way. This recipe works just fine by just using, you know, one pound, right? Okay, so you guys can see right there, look, you see that simmer? That's what we want, them little rolling bubbles. That's it. We just want to put some heat under that, that you know, the crushed tomatoes get everything that's heating up. You know, it just makes it move around much easier and it helps that soak inside of the, uh, in, you know, to our, our meat, right? So now we're just gonna go ahead and just add, you know, our seasonings, right? Then I'm gonna come with just a, just a couple of pinches of salt. That's it, that's all we need, folks. And now we're just gonna go ahead and stir it up get everything mixed together and let it simmer for about, uh, I'm gonna say just about 10 minutes. That's fine. I'm gonna put this in my 13 by nine, right? Look, I got a deep dish 13 by nine. If you guys doing two pounds, I suggest you use this. And then listen, if you're gonna do one, it'll fit in the, a dish this size right here. But this right here is gonna be what we're gonna use today. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my nine stick spray Everybody probably got some of this. If you don't have no Pam, you can always just take yourself a, 
some butter and just, you know, do it on the bottom. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the heat. You guys can come in here, take a look at that right there. That's what you want. That right there is real nice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pasta. I'm just gonna add just, you know, some of these down here on the bottom, just like you see. Check it out, I could have went ahead and doubled my pasta because you can see it's gonna hold it all. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set up some layers, right? And we'll just start adding some just here over the top. And what I do is I kind of like just mix it up. Now, some of you guys might be thinking about lasagna, you know, when you put the uh, meat sauce down in the very beginning. But since I sprayed it, I don't have no problems and worried about is anything gonna like, you know, stick to the bottom. That right there, this is fine, just the way you see me doing it. Look, you don't wanna overthink it. I done made it all kind of ways. Just do it the way you see I'm doing it right here and you'll have some success, right? So you just wanna use about half of your sauce. Okay, so now you see this down here. Now look, we went pasta, the meat sauce. Now we're getting ready to use about half of this mozzarella, right? Cause look, we want it to be gooey and ooey and all of that. Hey, I don't know, something about my man card don't like me really saying that, you know, but we just wanna add this in here just like you see. Now, we're gonna come with the pepperoni. And then you guys get the picture. You know what I mean? I don't really wanna like bore everybody watching me just really, it's almost like, almost like decorating, you know, putting everything on top of a pizza. But you guys got the gist of this. Now, look, I'm gonna take some of my bell pepper and just put it in here just like you see. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna put a whole lot because I like to save this really more so for like the top, right? So we'll just put it in here just like, that's good right there. Uh, I keep saying it's good and I'm constantly adding it on there, right? Now for the onions, I'm gonna probably take about half of the onions and just put these on here just like this. Real simple. You guys are probably thinking right now like all the things that you can do, you know, to customize and make yours the way you like it, right? Now, we got that, now I'm going back with my pasta, look, we're just gonna put the remaining pasta right on the top. Now you guys can see just how much, how this could be like a kid's favorite, right? Now we come back with a little bit more of this mozzarella over the top. Okay, so now we got that. Look, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start adding some of the meat sauce here on the top. And we'll just spread it around as much as we can, just like you see. So now that we got that spread out over the top, look, I went ahead and made myself a little bit more, you know, mozzarella, cause listen, we want it to be extremely cheesy, right? So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and make a modification. Just saying, when you doubling it, cause I put a lot of meat in this right here. Right, now we'll come with some more pepperoni. Then after the pepperoni, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our veggies. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little parm. So look, come on in here and take a look at this. This is what we got right here. Look, you almost don't even know. This looks like some kind of deep dish, you know, pizza, right? So look, now we're gonna take our parm and we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle this over the top, just like you see. I'm thinking about putting that on a t-shirt, folks, just like you see. Seem like I see it so much, right? This is what's gonna tie it all in. Now check this out. Now we gonna cover it. We gonna put it in the oven. Don't forget, we at 350 degrees, right? We gonna go for 30 minutes. Then we gonna take it out. We gonna remove the foil. Then we gonna go ahead and, you know, bake it for another 15 minutes. So it should be a total of 45 minutes. And there you have it, folks. Tell me what you guys think about that right there. I don't let this cool. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some of this out of here like this. You know what I mean? And just look at this right here. I want you guys to take a look at that. And you look at that corner right there. Oh man. You know, that's like having that baked mac and cheese when they put that little crust on there like that. Now listen, it was probably really ooey gooey and all of that kind of mess, you know, like earlier. But I let this cool a little bit just so I can get some out and it don't just spread all over the place. Look at that back there. You guys can see it, eat it with your brain until you can make it. But for me right now, I'm finna go in here, get me some of this cheese. Oh yeah. Now you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and boss hog it. You know why? Cause that means I wanna get me some of that, that pepperoni. Oh man. Cheers folks. Now hold on. 
Listen, it could be that I'm extra hungry today. You know what I mean? So when I eat it, I want you guys to taste this. I mean, make it, taste it, and then come back and let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Because I promise you, listen, when you hit this, you're going to almost not even miss, you know, having the bread. So I guess on that note, it'll be a little bit of a healthier choice than having, you know, all that dough. But this right here is fire. Hey, you can see why kids, you know, this would be a kid's favorite. Super simple to make. You know what I mean? It's a little bit time consuming only because we got to go in the oven. We got to do it twice, right? So when we do it twice, that equals, uh, what, 45 minutes? But outside of that, look, the prep, I'm going to say you can have this whole meal done in like one hour, though, you know? Uh, super easy to make. Uh, huge on flavor and if you like pizza this is a must try now with that being said let me just take this time to say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and i want you guys to tell everybody out there listen it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and if you want to know why i keep looking down like that i already told you i'm hungry and this is good guess what i'm out peace